So I have a lot of videos in vitamin B1, and I'm going to put some links down below if you don't know what it does. But if you're deficient in B1, um, not only are you going to have problems with your memory, but you're going to have a lot of stress in the body, um, heart issues, edema, uh, fatigue, um, a condition called lactic acidosis, where your breathing is affected, restless leg syndrome, and you can have all sorts of dangerous consequences just from that alone. Because of its importance, I want to talk about all the different ways you can become deficient that go beyond just the diet. Uh, let's just go through them. Number one, consuming refined carbohydrates, as in breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, things like that. Because the more refined that carbohydrate is, the more B1 you need to metabolize that carbohydrate. And this is why they enrich those grain products with synthetic B1. Alcohol is a real big one. Okay, the more alcohol you drink, the more deficient B1 you're going to be. Uh, stress, high levels of cortisol will deplete vitamin B1. And of course, sugar, having high blood sugar from consuming sugar. And that's why diabetics are nearly always deficient in B1 and they have complications of peripheral neuropathy because anything related to inflammation of the nerve, destruction of the myelin sheath around the nerve, you want to look for a B1 deficiency. In addition to that, you can also have problems with the nerves in other parts of the body that are affected, like the inner ear. So you might have hearing loss, ringing in the ear. You might have problems with the nerve to the eye, um, the retina, for example, as in diabetic retinopathy, which you could go blind from that. Vitamin B1 protects the nerves against the damage of the high sugar. Then we have gastric bypass. So if you alter uh, either the stomach or the small intestine, you limit the absorption of vitamin B1. Vomiting will create a deficiency of B1. Having an infection will deplete your B1. Antibiotics like Inflagel or Cipril will deplete your B1. Diuretics will do it. And as a side note, diuretics will deplete all the water-soluble vitamins, uh, not just the B complex, but vitamin C as well, in addition to the minerals like potassium. Metformin will deplete vitamin B1, increasing your chances of getting lactic acidosis. What's interesting about metformin is they have a, a black box warning that one of the side effects from taking metformin is lactic acidosis because it could be deadly, even though it's rare, but that comes from a B1 deficiency. You can actually get rid of lactic acidosis within 24 hours just by taking thymine. Genetic defects that affect the transportation of B1. If you have that condition, it's rare, but you can have it. That can cause a deficiency as well. Uh, white rice, and that's a refined carb, but specifically white rice um, can lead to something called beriberi, which is a severe B1 deficiency. And it can create so many conditions, especially with certain parts of the brain. There's a condition involving a B1 deficiency in the brain, which targets the mammillary bodies where the mammillary bodies actually start shrinking. And there's a connection between that brain structure and producing new memories. So if you find that you could remember the old stuff, but new things are difficult, that could be that situation. Like let's say, for example, you can't remember what you ate three days ago or where you put your keys. And one last point, um, I always recommend taking B1 in its natural form. Uh, an unfortified nutritional yeast is a good source. And if you take it, you're going to notice that your stress goes down and you might just start having more energy because B1 is intimately involved in helping you make energy. All right. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.